It looks a little bit scary if you've never had it before. An egg of an alien or something. Hey, my name is Pai Lin from HotThaiKitchen.com. I'm a cookbook author and also a YouTube creator. And this is my fridge story. What my fridge says about me is my problem is I make them, I have leftovers, but I don't finish the leftovers. I make something else and then I have literally a fridge full of leftovers. So for example, I have a ton of containers, just containers of random things. You know, this is ginger, scallion oil, pad thai sauce, banana coconut foster sauce. The thing I use the most is unquestionably this bottle of fish sauce. No question about it. And, and arguably also this bottle of soy sauce. And that's why they're right here. This is my easy access shelf. Fish sauce is like the Thai salt. So whether I'm cooking for myself, my family, doing recipe testing for my cookbook, fish sauce and soy sauce is gonna show up. I definitely have a lot of condiments. Condiments out the wazoo. So top shelf, we have one, two, three, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 25, just on this door. And then way in the back, one, two, three, four, five, nine, 10, 11, 17, 18. 18 in the back plus 25, so I know 40. And that's not counting like pickles <laughs> and things like that and there's more cheese. There's too much, there's just too much stuff. Like there's only two adults and one child here. Like this fridge makes no sense. My go-to snacks tend to change, but if I were to open my fridge right now, what I've been eyeing is tamarind. Whole pots of tamarind, not something I can get anywhere, anytime. So when I find it, it's like, oh, awesome. It looks a little bit scary if you've never had it before, but think of it like date rather than something that looks like aliens. <laughs> like a, an egg of an alien or something. Did I hide anything? I don't think so. I did make my son eat a half a banana that was turning black for dinner yesterday because we have a lot of this. Like if no one was visiting, you see a lot of just like half open bananas. It's a constant struggle because we would forget that there's already one. And so somebody would go and open another one. Now there's two half bananas in there. At some point there were, I'm not kidding, four half bananas in the fridge. And that was when I drew the line, this is it. We have to <laughs> do something about the situation because they were just like, turning black in the fridge and I'm not making any more banana bread. Yeah, let me know in the comments whether you have a situation similar to this where you just keep having half open fruits or vegetables. Happens to me with onions too. I'll have like three half onions because I've forgotten that I already have an open one in there. Fruits and vegetables always scary. Now this is the thing I did clean out. There were some completely terrifying things in the back of my fruits and vegetable drawer. So I've got some yu chai here, which is really a great all-purpose Chinese greens. Oops, good for soup, good for stir fries, lots of things. Long beans. These are super good in stir fries and even salad. Garlic chives. This is the bane of my being. I, because they sell such big bunches of garlic chives, and I never really use that much. I've had three different things with garlic chives, and I still have this much left. So this is one of the things that I'm like only buy if I absolutely need to. And of course, a giant bag, like any good Asian person, a giant bag of kailan or Chinese broccoli. Oh no, this is, this is more of the yu choy. Oh look, I have two bags of yu choy, <laughs> which I thought was Chinese broccoli this whole time. Let me know if you have a good recipe for a large amount of greens that is your go-to. I usually just stir fry with oyster sauce, but I definitely want to know what you do. Oh, freezer. And I tried to organize it and I opened it and I just gave up. Yeah, that's chaos. This is something unique. This is mentaiko. This is a Japanese spicy cod roe that is great in pasta dishes. My son's favorite thing in this freezer is foundi keju. Foundi keju is Brazilian cheese bread. A Brazilian friend introduced me to these and they are insanely good. <laughs> it's from Costco. You stick it in the oven, bake it for 20 minutes and my son can eat like 
eight of them um, in one sitting. It's in, and I can eat ten of them in one sitting. It's it's really really dangerous. Oh, you know what's been in here forever is Korean hot pepper flakes. I got this to test whether I can use this as the dry chilies when making Thai curry paste. And I tested it, I found out it works fine, and that was it. <laughs> and this is now just lives there. I got this before my son was born. And even though it's a dry product, you want to keep this in the freezer because chilies, dry chilies do get mold on them. Um, but in the freezer, it should last, it, it will last forever. Best before, are you ready? 2018, <laughs> they're fine. Countries with hot climate have spicy food like Thailand, because back in the day, food was, would go bad quicker in these hot climates and chilies would make them last longer. So if you have a hot sauce that's been there for eight years, don't feel bad about it. It's fine, it looks good, smells good. It's supposed to be that way. The top of the fridge is basically the overflow of my snack cabinet. Dried pork floss, this is another one of my son's favorite food. It's actually all of Asian kids' favorite food. It is shredded, dried shredded pork that's seasoned and you just toss this with rice or congee and it's, it's, it, this is the only form of meat that my son eats. Something else in the very, very back of my fridge that I just discovered yesterday is that I still have macapuno. Let's find out if this is fuzzy on the inside. It's not. Um, macapuno is a Filipino coconut, sweetened coconut strings, but it's a, a, a very special kind of coconuts where they develop sort of a jelly-like flesh. It's like a genetic mutation. It's like a mutant coconut. Every once in a while, coconut will develop this special kind of jelly-like flesh and they take it and candy it. But yeah, I just discovered this again the other day because it got forgotten in the back of the fridge because that's what backs of fridges are for. Things forgotten. Did I learn anything from going through the fridge and being asked all these questions? I think it surprised me the, the variety of things that I have in there. Because usually I don't really pay attention to what's in here. It's always just trying to make sure things are not deteriorating in there. But when I you know, took a look at all this stuff, it's like, oh wow, I have a lot of different things in there. So thanks for coming to my kitchen and checking out my fridge. If you see something here you want to comment on, something similar, something different as what you have in your fridge, let me know in the comments. If you have any tips about fridge management, let me know in the comments as well. And if you want to connect with me, you can check out my YouTube cooking show. It's called Hot Thai Kitchen or my website, hotthaikitchen.com. Also on social media, I am Hot Thai Kitchen everywhere. Don't forget to subscribe to The Spruce Eats for more fridge stories as well.